Welcome everyone to this video discussing stuff about my channel going forward. The most important part will be in the beginning, so if you only have a sense of time, watch that. But in this video I'll discuss the upcoming months for the channel, a bit about my writing videos, my changing thumbnails and titles, and lastly the future for this channel as a whole. I'll end on my take and uh, my explanations. If you're interested in only one of these things, timestamps on screen and in the description. For the past 7ish weeks I've been working on this YouTube channel. This has been during my holidays, which means I was bored and I had nothing else to do because of something going on in the world. Now sadly, school is starting again, which means I'll have a lot less free time to do stuff for this YouTube channel. Will the quality go down? I hope not, not intentionally at least, but will the quantity go down? Probably. I'd rather sacrifice quantity over quality. I will do my best to keep my schedule of two videos a week, but mm, to be honest, in a regular week, I think I'll be fine. But school isn't just regular weeks, there's a lot that can go wrong and my schedule is pretty shaky already. Which means that I'm probably going to miss videos or upload videos late. And I prioritize my school and my education a lot higher than my YouTube channel for obvious reasons. So if there's a video late or no video at all, that's why. Well, and for now, I'm going to change my schedule on when I upload as well. Normally, I've been trying to upload on Sundays and Wednesdays, but I'm changing it to Sundays on Thursdays. So I'm sure to have enough time for each video. Obviously, I have less time on weekdays, so it'd be weird if I had my 3 day period on only weekdays. Now, let's talk a bit about my writing videos. As I said in my writing introduction, I wanted to make sure that I didn't give any advice or information until later on in my channel when I actually know what I'm doing. And then my first writing video was one on information. I've deleted it now because I wasn't happy with it, but this is a reminder to myself to not do writing videos about actual writing theory. So if my writing videos are not about actual writing stuff, then what are they going to be about? Well, my choices for the YouTube channel for one, like this one, or my choices for writing the books. I can make writing videos about the sample chapters, about comparing the show to the books, and about more fourth wall breaking questions like what will this person's story arc be or what does this character contribute from a narrative standpoint. Those types of questions are extremely important when writing the book and they need to be answered, so that's what I'll be doing with these writing videos. Next point to talk about, my thumbnails and titles. Any observant person would have noticed that I've changed my thumbnails and titles twice by now or at least change my thumbnails and titles for my recent series on the wing tourney. Why have I done this? Well, for several reasons. Firstly, I felt it wasn't clear from the thumbnail which type of video it was. If you're watching a lore video, say lore 3, you want to watch the next video in the series. Now just from the thumbnails it's hard to see which video is lore 4, so I had to change my thumbnails to at least include that. This meant that I knocked down on the individuality of each video to make sure each video fit better within the series as a whole. Even though each video on its own says a lot, they are still part of a greater series and I expect that people have seen the entire series up to that point. The best way to make that clear to any viewer is, in my point of view, a number which tells them, hey, this is part 6, or whatever. The second change I made is from the tourney to the wing tourney. Why? Well, because the tourney is an extremely generic term. It can be used to describe any tourney, and there are a lot of them. This means that the tourney doesn't necessarily point towards the tourney in the veil. Is this a problem? Yes, there are several problems with this. Firstly, it makes sure people don't know what to expect from my videos. Okay, a series about the tourney, then what? If people recognize the Winds of Winter cover, or they know that my channel is about a Song of Ice and Fire, then they know it's within something about the Song of Ice and Fire. But even then, which tourney is it? There are a lot, and I mean a lot of tourneys in a Song of Ice and Fire, and I expect if I say a tourney, people will think the Harrenhal tourney. So I change it to the Wing tourney, because then it's clear that I'm talking about the Wing tourney, in other words, the tourney that nominates the Wing Knights. 
because why did I specifically choose the name of the winged tourney? Well, the entire point of the tourney is for people to become the quote-unquote winged knights, which would protect Sweet Robin. That's why it has been organized, that's why people come there. It's the single most important detail about this tourney, and it sets it apart from all other tourneys. In other words, it's the perfect thing to call it after. The second reason why I call it the winged tourney is because, well, maybe there will be another tourney in the future. I don't expect it, but maybe. Then what? I can't have two series called the tourney, that would be extremely confusing. I need to make sure that there is at least a form of variety within my channel. Now, do I think that this thumbnail will do good with YouTube algorithm? No, not at all. I do not think that these are beautiful thumbnails, and I do not think these are thumbnails that will get people to click on them. That's not really the point. I'm not here to get millions of subscribers and become the next Jake Paul. All I want to do is share my little bubble of the internet to other interested people on this planet we call Earth. Now, do I want more subscribers? Of course. I'd love to share my ideas with more people, I'd love to have a dedicated following out there and people who correct me upon every single tiny mistake I make. I'd love to have people which watch each of my videos and bring them to other places of the internet. And most importantly, I'd love to be able to do this as a job. But that's far away, and for now I'm prioritizing the clarity of my videos. So, this is the thumbnail format I'll be sticking with for the week's tourney. But what happens after that? Well, I'll probably reshuffle the layout and choose another picture for the next series. Something like this. Now, this looks good enough, I guess, but I am considering making another change. Because the picture already tells you which series you're watching. The title doesn't need to exist, so why not remove it? Because you don't need the same information twice. If you're looking already closely, you can already see which series fit together just based on the pictures being the same. So will I change this? Maybe, who knows, I'm not changing it for the wing tourney, but after that, we'll see I guess. Now what about my titles? Well they are extremely easy to change and they don't affect the content all too much. This is where I can put in more clickbaity things which will draw more attention to the video itself. If I ever want to change my titles, it's extremely easy to do so, and I can change it anytime I want. If I ever see titles change, well it's me testing for things that look good. Probably I'll find something and keep it that way, never to change it again, but who knows, the future can throw a whole lot of curveballs at you, so realistically, anything can happen. Now that we're talking about the future, how long will it take for me to write my book? Well, this series on the tourney equals to around 3 chapters. Holding the space I am now, I expect this series will take somewhere around 10 to 20 weeks. Let's assume the best because optimism, yay! If I continue on that pace, that'd mean I'd be done with the winds of winter by 2026. If I assume the worst, it's 2032. Ouch. I pride myself on being realistic and having realistic expectations. So, will I ever finish my book? Probably not. A lot can happen in 6 years, and especially a lot can happen in 12. Do I hope I can finish it? Will I try? Yes, of course. But that doesn't make this a realistic expectation I can have. I think the chances of me actually finishing are about the same of George R. R. Martin finishing this year. Because that's another quite important factor. If George R. R. Martin finishes, then what's the point in doing mine anymore? I am 99% sure that when that time comes I'll stop writing. We'll see what happens afterwards, maybe I'll move on to writing A Dream of Spring, maybe not, it's all for the future to see. Now, with that 6 to 12 year mark, do I think I could make it faster? Yes. I expect that I could be done within 5 years, maybe 4, possibly 3, but I'm not counting on it. I think the most realistic expectations to have would be around 8-ish, which means we'll be here for quite a while. So yeah, don't get your hopes up that I'll be the one to save you from the long wait. Unless of course you're watching this in 8 years, in which you can tell me how far I've come. 
Now I want to be real with myself here. Do I think that in 10 weeks I'll still be doing this? No. I think that these motivational juices will be gone and I don't know if I can keep this up for the upcoming time. But I'm sure going to try because doing this YouTube stuff has been a whole lot of fun and I hope I'll be able to do this for the time to come. That is what I'll leave you with. Hard times are coming, but spring is far on the horizon. But that doesn't mean we won't have a blast getting there. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great day.